Hi, in this video we will see how AWS X-Ray work. We will use a sample app in Elastic Beanstalk and we will analyze the process used in AWS X-Ray. So this tutorial is uh, containing some prerequisites and deployment of Elastic Beanstalk and a Java app in it and we will generate some trace data. We will also view service map in X-Ray console and after that we will configure Amazon SNS notifications. Then in the last we will explore the sample application that we have downloaded and then we will clean our resources that we generate. So let's first of all move to the Elastic Beanstalk. Elastic Beanstalk console has been open but before creating the application there is some prerequisites that we should attach so for that we need to open IAM and we need to attach some policies this include X-ray full access, S3 full access, DynamoDB full access and also SNS access as well so we will add it one by one attach policy search x-ray full access then the second one s3 full access dynamo db full access and also sns full access and attach policy as we can see all the attached one we can see here in the console we will close this window and we will create the sample application here in this console of elastic beanstalk so the name will be same environment name will also be same platform we will choose java java 8 application code should be the own code that we have downloaded from this tutorial so this zip file we will download and upload here as i have already uploaded downloaded so i will choose the code the zip file open file name it is uploading the file has successfully uploaded and we will create the application it start creating the application now it will take small time as well like few minutes it will take to create all the applications including load balancer auto scaling etc we will wait for some time until it's fully created we can see it's showing successfully launched environment and after some time it will now create the application as well yeah it has launched the application successfully and we can go to the applications directly and we can select the url as well As per the tutorial, now we need to choose how we can create the game and data as well. So we will give the username, uh, my user game we will keep same and we will create the session. It will ask for the game name as well. So my game one and rule tick tag toy and we will create the game play and here is the similar map we have as showing in the tutorial so we will just mark the boxes by clicking on it
and in the same window we can use the service map as per the tutorial we need to view the service map in AWS console so we will click this option and it will take us to the AWS X-ray and it will start generating the data as we can see there is some error with the AWS SNS so we will analyze the error here analyze the trace first of all the traces view trace trace list sns has the warning and once we select this one in the exception it is giving invalid parameter email so how we can figure out this one we need to open the bin stock window so for example we will go to the bin stock console in the same application we will open application here in the environment uh, here we will select the configurations in configuration as per the tutorial we will select software configurations so we will go to the software configurations in software configuration we will change in the environment properties under environment property section we will give the notification email so once we give the notification email we will apply and it is saving the changes it will take small time to update the environment as well it will take small time to update the environment as we have done few changes we can see it has stopped changes and now we should receive an email yeah we receive the and we will subscribe the subscription so we have confirmed it yeah our subscription has confirmed one subscription has confirmed so we will go to the AWS X-ray in the service map and we, it should green the SNS map is updating yeah as we can see after the map is update our sns topic is now green and now we have fully green map here until this point we have covered the configuration of sns notifications now we will explore the sample application as well in the sample application we will check the code that we have yeah we are in the same application code and the first directory is under this one we will copy this one it is under source main java score keep and web configuration I already have opened this page so here we have the given code as well the next page is the gradle build so gradle build I, have, I already have opened as well build.gradle 
and here is the code for it the third one is the eb extension slash x-ray dot configuration dot configuration and it has the relevant code available and the web config dot java sample rules dot java as well i have open so all this code is available in the application currently we are using the full access mode as we are not using iam based policies and now we need to delete uh, this option in this one it is saying we can use the aws config in the aws config we can only see the resources that we have generated including dynamodb s3 bucket and ec2 instance that we can do and in the last we can do the cleanup for this tutorial for that we can go to the amazon elastic bin stock console and we can just delete the environment so in the environment section we will simply select the environment and we will go to the action and terminate the environment these windows we will close and we will give the environment name and terminate it will take small time to term terminate all the resources once this is terminated the environment is terminated all the underlying resources will automatically get closed after that window we get this uh, window and uh, health is not there in the environment section so this means our resource has been uh, deleted so thank you this was our tutorial thank you very much